midday. I'm Brian Carlson. And I'm Emily Clark. A crash this morning during rush hour caused a massive power outage to Midvale and Sandy City. Police say the suspect crashed into a car and severed a utility pole before leaving the scene. Rocky Mountain Power tells us nearly 8,000 customers are affected by the outage. ABC 4's Jason Wynn live on 450 West and 80 is South where it all happened. Jason, when will crews get that power back on? Emily, crews say that they should have the electricity back on within the next hour because over the last five hours, they've been trying to deal with this. Well, I think it's a big mess, but I'm, I'm really shook up over the way it happened. I woke up to a bunch of noise and a bunch of flashing and a bunch big bull boom. Looked out the window and that fire post was on fire. Street was on fire. Residents along 8,000 South from Main Street to 400 West got a rude awakening Monday morning when a power line came crashing down in front of homes causing transformers to blow just before six. You can see the burn marks on the ground and it was about chest high. Unified fire and police rushed to shut down the road and keep people from driving over active power lines. What can I say? If if you see a bunch of flashing lights, turn your car around. All while working to get the brush fire out close to I-15. That open field was on fire, so I just grabbed my hose and prayed I could keep it from hitting my house. Unified police say it all started on the west side of I-15 and 80 South when 22-year-old Preston Reed used a borrowed vehicle, crashed it into another SUV that had five people inside of it. One of those victims went to the hospital with back pain. I don't know how exactly it happened, but whatever it happened, I'm glad it, that's the worst of it. Investigators say Reed ran, only to be arrested a block away for DUI. Unified.